It's about celebration, showcasing, promoting and ensuring. Celebrating adult learning. It brings together communities, it brings together voluntary organisations uh, and indeed adult learning organisations as they showcase the wonderful and varied work that they do. And the winner is... On the Edge, the Project took six months in Ireland for the first Woodworm Infested Chair to the last grind and painted finished product. Not a chair was safe in County Kilkenny or so. <laughs> the 25 happy students when we get back to Kilkenny now. The Star Awards um, acknowledge the tremendous work undertaken by adult education groups and they provide the opportunity to celebrate this work. And the winner is... Training for Success. On behalf of FLN Smyrna, I would like to dedicate the award to the two ladies standing here, Maura Tansy and Anna Broderick, who for the past 14 years have helped make Training for Success what it is today. Guru Mila Maka. It's brilliant. It gives people awareness that it's there because not many people know about epilepsy or what it is or training for success just to get the recognition that it deserves. The Star Awards. Showcasing teamwork. Awarding recognition. We've always been able to show progression rate with figures in that, but today we've been recognised by a fantastic organisation with this award and it's just absolutely superb. Love for Women's Link won a Star Award in 2011. It was of great benefit to us because it gave us recognition both locally and nationally. Winning the Star Award was very important because of the recognition it gave to uh, Love for Women's Link. For the organisation itself, I think it's a major plus. Um, we were amazed that we were shortlisted the first day anyway. But I mean, to come up here and receive the award is a major plus for Ballybeg itself and for the community because they're the people that fill the spaces. I'd just like to congratulate all the winners. Like, it's terrific. It, it's really quite emotional, but it's, it's terrific to look at the range of programmes and to see from what we've brought in here in Ainthus not just the power of adult and community education to equip people for the labour market and the workforce, but it's power to actually engage people and bring people in from the margins of society. It means everything to us, so it can get overwhelmed, so it can't. <laughs>